Okay. Hello, everyone. We are <laughs> coming at you with a very hectic and impromptu stream here, but we've got our UNC Tar Heels going up against Utica University and Valorant. As you can see, the game is already very much underway. We're in the pistol round right now. It looks like it's a pretty, well, I was going to say even, but standing. it's looking Spike like it's going to be a 1v3 right now. Um, it's going to be Pablo oh. up against three. And what is Pablo going to be able to find here? It's going to be a very tough situation, oh. and he's getting swung on. That's going to be the kill by God. Uh, I think we might have the labels backwards. I think God is on UNC. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're the red team right now. <laughs> we get... Okay. But it's okay. We're getting things sorted out here. We're getting, we're getting things going. Um, but nice first round by the UNC Tar Heels. Great way to kick things off. And going in on the attack side here, we've got... Let's see. Let's take a look at the camp. We've got Brim. We've got uh, Chamber, Sky, Ray, Ko. That's right. I know their names. I know the agents in this game. And then that's about all that I know. Um, I don't really play this game. I'm so excited to be here. We got God going in from the top. Is he going to check inside the container? Yes, he is. That's going to be an easy kill. And that's looking to be probably the round for UNC here. Probably just a save. One uh, enemy remaining. Nice second kill. And follow up. God. I'm, I'm gonna need to get closer to this so I can see. I need glasses. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so, uh. Okay, here we go. Two rounds in, 2 0 lead. Um, that was just a save from Utica, so we should see some more heavy opposition. Um, UNC electing to keep the Spectres here. A little bit of a bonus round, get the economy going for next. And, uh. Yeah, same setup here. God going in with the okay. boom bot. Checking out Luka. And it seems like another pretty heavy B lane from the attack side. Viper wall goes up to block vision. And we'll see, are they willing to go through Satchel. this? Looks like another raise satchel. Gonna go for it here. Raise going in. Able to find the entry. Ready for the second as well. Do see on the other side, Chamber does find a kill onto Dan Gugu. That's gonna be another plan. It seems like they're aware. Yep, they're aware of the Chamber there. That's gonna be another kill for you. One enemy oh. remaining. Here, that's gonna be another clean round. Four alive. That's gonna be really helpful for the economy. As I said, they had a few Spectres going in, so it's gonna be real nice. Some good momentum going forward. And we are probably headed into another kind of save here for the defenders. Good start to the half for UNC. That's what you like to see if you're a UNC fan, which I imagine most of you are. Oh yeah, I still got no game audio, unfortunately, but we can still kind of tell what's going on. I'm trolling, but uh... Okay. Sorry, we're getting some things figured out here, but it's looking like another pretty easy breezy round. Satchel up. Satchel up into One heaven. enemy remaining. Just one remaining, that's gonna be it again. Very clean round, not much resistance at all. We'll see what Utica has to say about it. Four O on the board. So we saw an A attack last round, but it looks like it's going to be heavy B again. Back to their winning strategies. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but maybe still mix it up every once in a while, you know. And, uh, yeah. 
A little chamber trip there, broken. And um, is it just going to be another commit to B off the bat? God going to pop the raise ult. Not able to pull the trigger, though, before Chamber takes him down. And, well, it looks to be a little bit more competitive this time around. Actually, a 2v3 now for UNC. And now they've got some... Oh, actually, the Molecule coming out. That's going to even things up. They still have to get the bomb, though. But as I say that, it's just Phoenix in 1v2. Joys in the clutch for Utica. Can they find their first round? He's got a nice timing here. Is he going to check to his left, though? He's not. He's not going to check. And that's going to be the round for UNC. Got to check your corners. And, um, you know, I don't really blame him. Having heard the bomb plant there, maybe not expecting um, Awesome King to kind of just be chilling in the corner. But, yeah, that's going to be the fifth round for UNC to open the game. A very nice start, all things considered. Um, like I said, I don't play this game very much, but if I remember correctly, I think Bind was maybe a little bit more defender-sided. Or maybe that's just me, and I'm just bad at the game. But Caution here. here we go. A little bit of an ace split setup here. Nice flash by uh, the enemy here. Phoenix, but not able to find a pick off that. And it does seem like a few of the UNC players kind of Hanging back towards market, maybe electing to go towards B. The Phoenix here is still up close. And he's just going to peek with the shorty. And that shorty is not going to do anything at this range. Nice kill there by Awesome King. But you can see the rotations that has pulled towards A. Whereas most of the UNC players are now headed towards B. So if, if they kind of step on the gas here, there's not going to be anything at B to hold them back. And they do seem to be taking their time. But Utica themselves are kind of just stacking this A site, hoping for the best. And at this point, the UNC players are out onto the site. Going to be clean. No casualties on the entry. Yeah, they've got a clean plant here. Sky ult's going to be popped. And Austin King kind of realizing at the last second there that Viper could be in that position. Good awareness. And... Kind of just cleaning up here. A flawless round coming out for UNC. A flawless half up to this point. No rounds dropped. 6-0. You love to see it. Great start to the game. Great start to the season. Kicking things off for this fall season of NACE Varsity Premier. Give him hell. And so, so here we go. Right here. Seventh round. Looks like uh, Chamber actually tagged down their Phoenix pretty low. Down. And God's just going to satchel in. Not able to find any entries, but they've got the site now. They're planting. And Vermillion's actually going to take down Anchor. So another advantageous position for UNC. Let's how the, let's see how they handle the post plant. They're actually going somewhat aggressive here, but it doesn't seem to matter. God able to find one, traded, but the kills are just coming in fast and furious now. It's just going to be Joy's in the 1v3. Actually able to spot the top of Awesome King's head there. That's an interesting one, but with the op in a 1v2 retake, is this what you really want? Probably not. He seems to know the position of God Dog. But uh, it's not going to be enough, and time was running a bit low. But um, honestly, you know, good attempt right there. I respect going for the retake in the 1v2. And at this point, you really just want to get something on the board if you're Utica. But not going to be the case. 7-0. And looks like we've got a timeout coming in uh, from the defender side. That would be Utica. Calling for the timeout. Maybe talk things over. See if you want to try like a, an aggressive play or if you wanna I guess at this point you probably wouldn't really switch up which site you're playing but uh, maybe talk about what you could do differently do you want to go more passive more aggressive um, anything you can really do to mix things up because 
it has been all UNC so far early on. 7 to 0. So, while we're here, if you want to uh, come to Valorant Weeklies, those would be, I believe, 8 p.m. on Sundays. But if you want to be an even cooler person, you can come to CSGO Weeklies on Saturdays. And I hear during those, the uh, CSGO game head actually gives away skins for free. So, yeah, if you're interested, you should check that out. And it looks like we're getting back into it. What? Might Utica change up to find their first round? Not sure what the economy is looking like for this round. But, um, little Sky Doggy going in. Not able to find anything, and this B site is completely evacuated. So maybe just playing full retake here for Utica, and probably <laughs> just gonna go through the smoke completely disrespecting I guess I don't know how I would say that Ayane I don't know names are hard sometimes impossibly hard but I mean it's just UNC is not letting up right now maybe just the individual skill the aim shining through right now maybe Utica's just having a bad day maybe they're not warmed up but either way it's it's looking very dominant right now 8 nothing on the board. On the attack side, no less. And so it looks like Utica's going to be able to afford a buy here. But will they be able to find that, that first round to put on the board? It seems to be eluding them. But the fade? Oh, the fade play. Good idea. Not able to capitalize though just yet. And yeah, we can see Ray's just satcheling in once again. These very aggressive entries are, are working out wonders right now. When I guess it seems like UNC is just out aiming Utica. But there's two kills in response. And as I say that, it is just a 1v3 for Joys. We've seen them in this situation before. They gave us a good show, but not quite able to clutch it out. And they've got the... Op once again in heaven, I believe. So a little bit of deja vu here. Again, we remember Awesome King was directly under heaven when Joyce was able to pluck the top of their head, but this time it's going to be Vermilion going for the jump spot and Awesome King to finish it off. Nine rounds in a row to open the game for UNC. Well... I think the only hope Utica really has at this point is the 9-3 curse. The very much real curse, but they're going to need to find their first round here if they want to uh, be able to use that to their advantage. So you can see here it's a complete B stack for Utica. You want to play? Let's play. And I guess that's fair. You want to change it up. You want to really shake things up if you want to uh, find a round here. But it's just not going well for them. Chamber able to pick it off. God able to get the alt kill as well. So it's just a 4v2. Both remaining. players still in B long. Or I should say just one at this point. HT on their own. Able to find the first kill. It's a 1v2. And the double swing is going to take care of business though. 10-0 for UNC. You know what? I respect the play from Utica there. You're not able to get things going. You're having a bad. You're having a bad day. You haven't put a round on the board. Why not stack B on a full buy round, or maybe not a full buy, but why not just stack B and hope they run into you? And their wish came true, but it didn't work out in the end. You know, you stack five B. You hope they come B. They do come B, and you still get demolished. So that's. It's a little bit unfortunate if you're Utica, but I like the idea. I respect the play. And now it seems like they're going for a ooh, aggressive push through Hookah. So they're actually going to have the info that UNC is coming A. 
Is it going to finally work out though? Killjoy, I believe, working on the flank, but kind of just holding here for a few and see rotates back towards market. It's going to be a, well, not direct trade, but a one for one trade at different points on the map. Not too bad, if you're Utica. But uh, as I say that, Vermilion able to take Prepare down Joys. And they're sticking to A site. They're calling UNC out, saying, you're going to come A. And it seems like you're going to like it, because it's just Ayane in a 1v2. Dan Gugly able to find the last kill. It's 11-0 to zero right now. That is ridiculous. So if you're Utica, you got to be thinking, is the 13-0 going to happen? And what are you going to do to stop that from happening? You've already tried the boldest plays, stacking everyone on B, stacking 4A, 1B, pushing through hookah. So at the very least, you have tried different things, but none of them have worked out in your favor. You KO ultimate popped Pablo sitting in hookah, but the dog is going to spot him out. So that's just going to be an instant kill from God there. Already a 5 versus 3. Make that a 5v2. If you're HT and you're Anchor in this situation, what are you thinking? I mean, you're not... Oh, you're actually able to find God, so... You know, that's not a bad start. Fade ult probably going to be popped at one point or another as it's the last round. And actually able to find a headshot through the smoke. You are absolutely going to take that if you're HT. Okay, here comes the ult. What? Chamber inside the Viper smoke. HT's not going to suspect that. Able to get the second kill as well. And that's a 12-0 half for UNC. Switching sides. You got to be thinking at this point if you're Utica, you just, you just, you have to win this pistol round. You can't let the 13-0 happen on the first map of your season. And if you're UNC, you don't want to let your foot off the gas pedal. Now you want to close this out in a 13-0 fashion. Just show complete dominance to begin the season. <laughs> I don't know what Dan Gugly's talking about in chat. But, uh, man, I hate p these, these pistol freeze times in this game. I don't know why they're so long. I don't know what to do in, like, the 20 or 30 seconds that they give you. <laughs> Dan Gugly's such a troll, man. Oh my goodness, okay. So chamber pick onto Dan Gugly. God able to find the kill with the boom bot and actually a second as well. They are giving Utica no respect, pushing straight through the teleporter. It's the two players on long now. Make it just the one. Joy's nice flash, but not able to find the kill. Able to eventually get the one. And actually the second, that's three on the round for Joy's. 1v1, is it going to be 13-0? Or are we going to play on? It's going to be the clutch from Joy's 4K. And I guess if anyone has been showing up for Utica, it has been Joy's. One round finally on the board for Utica. That is complete disaster averted in some sense. But still not super encouraging. And a little bit of a perhaps misplay or just kind of overheating from UNC there. Which, hey, at this point, do you really blame them? It's going to be 12-1. to 1. Let's go. UNC looking to close it out here. I think it's going to be a force into this round. So we see the Spectre coming out from God. They're able to clear out this A short area. So they know it's going to be B. And God going straight through a teleporter. Able to find one. But Anchor is able to take down Dan Gugly. It's a 4v3 for Utica. They do have two players that are a bit low. But yeah, the utility is going to lock out UNC for a bit here. Joy is just going to flash through this, the Viper wall. Doesn't see anyone elbow. We've got two UNC players flanking through Hookah. And what is the play here? Chamber kind of clear now. Oh! Almost able to adjust. Onto the Phoenix player. Peeking from elbow, but that's not going to be enough. It looks like they're still going for it. We've got a player backside, player elbow. 
and a player long. And, well, that's going to be the round for Utica. Second round on the board. And, uh, yeah. Big respect to Utica for not just throwing in the towel. Able to grab that pistol. Able to convert the second. And, um, yeah. I mean, every round you win maybe helps your confidence a little. Maybe makes the scoreline more respectable. So you do love to see that fight and perseverance. I believe it's just going to be a save this round for UNC. Oh, peeks with the sheriff. Maybe going to peek with a flash this time and not able to find a kill. Pablo taking down Ray's in hookah. And I believe this should be a pretty easy round for Utica. The plant is going down, 4v2. Something tells me UNC are not going to be content with saving their pistols. Although, as I say that, Mr. Chamber looks like just going to be holding a passive angle, as is Awesome King with the shorty. So, going to be a pretty chill rest of the round, probably. And, um, yeah. I mean, I would love to kind of build a narrative here. Talk about the comeback. Maybe make things interesting. But it's a little bit too early for that. And it's just going to be... Oh, nice shot there. But yeah. Not going to be a round win or anything like that. Just a nice kill for the KD. Even going to sacrifice himself to the Valorant Gods for good luck. 12-3. to three. So... This should be the first kind of full buy round we see on this half. Both teams should be fully equipped with abilities, guns. Maybe not all the abilities for UNC. Maybe half armor. I don't really know. I don't really know the economy in this game that well. But it is going to be, you know, a well-contested fight from an equipment perspective. So we'll see if that, that aim and that kind of individual prowess will show for the UNC side this round. Looks like an A split, most likely, for Utica, unless they change their minds. Probably going to wait out these smokes, though. So we may be without action for a little while longer. As I say that, though, God's just, <laughs> just going to push through and is able to get one before getting traded. But that is some information for UNC. As you can see, uh, the chamber rotating back through CT. And here we go. It's going to be an execute onto A. Anchor. Not able to find anything. Another kill by Vermillion. It's a 2v2. If Awesome King swings here, that's going to be a free kill. So it's just Joy's, probably Utica's best player from what we've seen. Not able to find it though onto Awesome King. That's going to be 13 3, closing out the first map for UNC. Great way to start the season. Almost had the 13 0. But regardless of 13-3, you love to see that as well. So that is going to be it for the first map. We will see you in the second map in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, everybody. Going in on map two of UNC Valorant versus Utica University. So just to recap, if you're just joining us, we had map one on bind. It was a dominant affair from UNC. Ended up taking the map 13 to three, was up 12 to zero, could not close out the 13-0. I believe it was actually like a 1v3 from Utica to lock in their first round. So um, a pretty dominant affair, like I said. Uh, hopefully we'll see something a little bit more competitive on Haven. I'm not sure whose map pick this was, but either way, um, we'll see UNC on the attack side once again to begin the half. And Utica on the defense. So yeah, UNC actually did start attack side on bind as well. And like I said, they didn't drop a single round as the attack side. So I guess that is what you want if you're a UNC fan. The attacks have been going well. So as I said, these pistol freeze rounds are excruciatingly long. So in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind dropping a follow to the channel, perhaps even subscribing to the channel if you're a real one that would be amazing we appreciate everybody tuning in on this wednesday night um first game of the season by the way of the nace varsity premier league i believe for valorant so a good start unc up 1-0 in the series but it's a new map it's a fresh start what are utica able to do this time around it's going to be looks like an A commitment for UNC. Utica has three players there. So all things considered, it should be somewhat favorable. But God able to take down. I believe that was Sage and a second kill for UNC. Utica does have two players here, but they are quickly wiped out as well. It's a 1v5 for Anchor. And UNC is quick on the hunt here. Three players Coming the way of Anchor, able to find the first, not able to find the second. Another pretty clean round for UNC. Um, four players alive. That's going to be nice for their for their burgeoning economy, for their little early game economy here. We see Dan Gugly fanning himself, looking at all the skins he's bought and all the money that he has given to Riot Games. I've been told I have to say the P word. So, poggers. Oh god, I feel sick. But it's going to be a mid push from Utica to start off this second round. An aggressive play trying to cause a bit of chaos on this save round. And Pablo just going to pop the fake Yoru there. It's a flawless round from UNC. And uh, not much to say about that one. Just a, a save push coming out from Utica. You know, I mean, you never know what might happen, especially in this game. But I think that round was pretty much what we expected. So I believe this would probably be like a bonus round for the Tar Heels here. Maybe keeping the Spectres or whatever else they had last round. God's got a Vandal. So maybe not. But uh, yeah. Kind of spread across the map right now. Maybe trying to make their presence known in all areas. But uh, the Utica players seem somewhat convinced it's not A. And they're actually thinking twice about that. Coming back towards the A-bomb site. UNC still kind of spread here, but it looks like they might just be creeping up on towards A right now. Only two players really in the area, though. So they're going to hit pause, slow things down a little bit. But yeah, it looks like they're actually grouping up towards Long Pablo. Able to find the first kill here. A very rare first pick for Utica. Can they convert the round, though? It seems like they're not really budging on their defender positions, which um, is probably a good thing since UNC seems to be rotating off A. 40 seconds left in the round. 
and not ready yet. Let's see, what are they setting up for here? Oh, that's an interesting smoke. Here. And looks like the chamber just pinged that they're coming through garage, but they're not checking the smoke. And I believe this was the smoke that UNC actually threw themselves. They are able to gain access to the bomb site, but Utica is here to defend. Dan Gugly able to take down one, but Awesome King shouldn't be able to do anything here in a 1v3 with no time left on the board. Gets a nice kill for the road, but that's going to be it. So, Utica actually finding their first round here. Only three rounds in, so that's quite the improvement from map one. We'll see if they're able to take that further and, you know, give us a good showing here. And you wonder if maybe UNC was a little bit overthinking last round. I think what we saw in Bind was a lot of grouped attacks. And last round they kind of tried to default. And while that's a perfectly good thing to do, uh, maybe they weren't the most coordinated or didn't have a super well thought out plan moving forward after the default. But that's going to be an opening pick for Awesome King. Very early 5v4 here. And looks like HT is going to be defending with the judge at short. And a couple kills ring out across the map. But overall still man advantage for UNC. 4v1 actually in the blink of an eye. It's just going to be the cypher in CT. And UNC can do whatever they want now. Looks like they're just going to... Settle for A, bring the bomb over, plant it, and uh, yeah, I think we've got some time on our hands here. It's going to be the save coming out from Utica. Um, we'll see if UNC decides to hunt. They've been very eager to do so um, throughout the first game in the beginning of this map. But uh, yeah, hope everyone's having a good time. Hope everyone is... Um, not uh, failing their midterms, studying hard, being good students, or if you're not a student, just um, having a good uh, Wednesday, being a good person, being a good citizen. And yeah, so Cypher just chilling in T-spawn. Looks like UNC is content with letting them have that one gun into next round. And any second now, that spike is going to go off, so. 3-1 lead for UNC, we know what they say about 3-1 leads. They're not safe, even if they seem to be. Yes, this should do. So if you're tuning in, uh, like I said, this is the first game of the NACE Valorant season, Varsity Premier League, um, and it should be a match each week, uh, Wednesday at 7 p.m. That's the default time. Um, depending on the opposing team, it might get rescheduled. But um, yeah, I guess if you want to put that on your calendar or just make a mental note of it, we might be live most Wednesdays for the foreseeable future. Okay, so a lot of... Uh, a lot of slow rounds here to start off Haven for UNC. Not sure if that's a map specific thing or maybe something they just decided they wanted to do going into this map. And yeah, they're still spread pretty thin. At, um, Utica are playing things pretty passive. So not really taking any fights towards A. And as you can see over on A, God has already secured the bomb site by himself just this one sage there to defend and it looked like god kind of just creeped up short or something and and took over the bomb site teleport's ready they do get quite aggressive though so while they do have the a site to themselves and it's going to be a retake situation it is a 3v4 so not the worst thing for utica not sure how much utility they have left for this but 
we will see. Okay, the fade alt is popped. And yeah, I mean, that is quite the obnoxious effect to try to play the game with, but so far, it is all UNC. I cannot hear a single thing because of that fade alt. But, um, looks like it uh, just went pretty well there for the Tar Heels. Four to one. Rami Baba, five gifted subs. Huge thank you to Rami. Um, he's a real one. He's a day one. So big ups. Unfortunately, I don't think the face cam is going to be possible today. Um, you can blame Elgato for that one. <laughs> so... We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see if we're able to get it patched up by the end of the stream, but no guarantees here. Um, Pablo just on the classic. And yeah, able to kind of see the, the shoulder there from the other side of the wall. Angles are a cool thing, but not if you're Pablo. Okay, 2v5. That flash did not work at all the way Dan Gugly had hoped, but either way. That's an easy find. It's just HT in heaven with a stinger. And I guess I hadn't pointed this out, but UNC is running three or four Flash characters, depending on how you want to categorize them. We've got Yoru, Reyna, Sky, and even Omen has its blind. So that's going to enable them to make a lot of aggressive plays, perhaps overly aggressive plays from the way things have been going. But it's been working out, you know. Can't blame them if it's working. Yes, this should do. This goes here. Oh, this is a nice and on the other hand, Utica's running two yes, Sentinels, uh, I believe, towards A. So that should be a pretty heavily defended site. They've actually got Sage as well, so a very defense-heavy uh, composition here for Utica. So you'd hope they get some defending rounds on the board. Nice opening pick. And UNC have really liked this A site to start out this map. They've got the Sky Alt on deck. They've got the Dog. And the Astra does pop the Astra Wall. So that's going to deter UNC. They're going to run for the hills. Going to take their talents elsewhere. And it's looking like it's going to be a C pop when things are all said and done. I've got your no one actually on the C site to defend right now, so they're going to find an empty site. And it's going to be very difficult for... Oh, I... As I say that, the uh, chamber trip slows things down a little bit, but... Yeah, a pretty clean... I was going to say clean round, but it's actually 3v3 now, that fight going the way of Utica. So 3v3, the rotations are slow because they were pretty convinced that it was A. But a nice kill there from God Dog. It's going to be the second and the third player taken down. So 3v3 got a little bit sketchy there, but UNC able to close it out no problem. It seems like whenever they've been able to get into a bomb site, the retakes haven't really been an issue. Uh, maybe towards the end of the round, not so much utility. The aim, the gunplay kind of shines through. For the Tar Heels. So 6 to 1. Um, again, Utica did capitalize on that third round. But since then, it's been all UNC. Okay. God, able to find another early pick onto Joy's. And I think Utica, they were able to hear the footsteps running away. So they know it's not C. They're pushing through the smoke and... Ayane able to find the equalizer. Make that an advantage for Utica. And this is very quickly falling apart for UNC. Not really able to get anything going in this round. Kind of still stuck in the grass slash spawn-ish area. And yeah, Utica kind of has control 
of this whole sea long side. So it seems like UNC has decided we don't want anything to do with that. You can have C all day long. We're going to take it to A where there is a cipher cam to be fair, but no one to actually defend the site. And this is a little bit of a curious decision, I would say, for Utica, considering they've been unable to kind of make any of these retake situations work. Now, it is a 4v2, so it should be quite favorable for Utica, even though they are retaking. But we'll see, man. One good crossfire, one good timing. You never know. And Dan Gugly's already able to find the first. So things a little bit disjointed here. Kind of peeking on their own. It's just Dan Gugly in a 1v2, though. And Pablo's able to win that fight. So second round on the board for Utica. And things did get sketchy. Like we kind of expected it would. But able to take the 4v2, the thrifty victory there. Cypher no hat is too broken. Um, yeah, I guess. Or maybe you should just hit your shot. I don't know. That's my roommate. I can be toxic. Okay. I hope I read that correctly. I can like barely read the chat because I need to wear my glasses. Um, okay. So... From all the rounds win, round wins they've accumulated, there should still be a buy for UNC. We saw the chamber ult get popped there. Um, they haven't really gone for like a straight execute off the bat. I wonder if that would work better. A little bit of a delayed reaction there. I kind of thought that would be a free kill. But not to be. 5v5. Still. And Yoru is all the way into Garage. Chamber able to trade out that kill at B. Who's next? And your ult being popped here. We'll see. Are Utica going to be aware? I think they probably will be, or they at least should be, but it's going to be an A crunch here. Dan Gugly is behind, going to pop the flash, come out of the ult, and that Cypher's just completely lost there. Nice play by Dan Gugly. And this should be another secured round for UNC. So the two times we've seen Utica kind of get their foot in the door they haven't really been able to keep it open you can see kind of just slamming the door shut on the round afterward so this is going to be kind of an important save for Utica keep the guns into next round give yourself a chance to swing some of that momentum back but yeah I would say overall it's been a lot slower of a game from UNC this time around Kind of taking things slow, not rushing into an execute, and not really hunting as hard either. Although, I think at this point they're pretty convinced that no one's sticking around to try and retake. So, we'll see if they try and uh, take down these players and spawn. And honestly, at this point, Anchor, you might as well just fall back here. No need to take these fights. Oh, I don't know if that trade is worth it. I guess you do take down, well, I believe the Chamber was on the alt, so you don't really take anything away. And you do lose that gun. Um, maybe a questionable decision, at least from my point of view. But, uh, you know, at this point, maybe the frustration's coming through a little bit. Maybe you just want to take a fight and blow off some steam. But 7-2 for UNC. Pretty good attack side so far. And, yep, that Yoru was able to bait out the shot from top of the site. Sage, slow, and wall in response to that. So that is some pretty important utility expended quite early on. Anchor able to take down Awesome King while Dan Gugly takes down Anchor himself. So no one on the C site to defend right now. Oh, this is such an awkward exchange. Dan Gugly not able to teleport to safety in time. So now they're going to clear out Garage, but this might actually... Well, they are pretty aware of the C-Long push, and they're able to get the res as well. 4v2 crossing into the C site, and again setting up a retake. The Astro Well is not able to pull um, you can see off the plant, but nice trade, uh, nice trading there, sorry, um, from Utica. So there's another round converted. 
They have gotten up to their score line from the previous map. So anything from here on out would be a marked improvement. And we love to see improvement. We love to see close games. Okay. This. I would really like to see uh, UNC kind of just go for it one of these rounds. And maybe that's... Um, maybe the reason they aren't is uh, the kind of Sentinel heavy composition that Utica are using. Um, they have a lot of utility to kind of defend against a rush, so maybe UNC is trying to pull some of that utility early, kind of bait some of it out so that uh, a late execute won't be so heavily guarded. But either way, um, their kind of individual play and, and aim seems to be a lot better than Utica's, so I think they're just going to go through the Astro Wall here and able to get the one-for-one one trade early, but the Fade ult is going to be catastrophic for UNC. Awesome King is able to teleport, but the Astra is right Last there. Should be able to take him out. Yep. Spike down, C. So it's just God Dog on his own in the A lobby. Having a cup of coffee, reading the newspaper. And deciding what to do next. The, so the bomb was on... Not the bomb. The spike was on Omen. Teleported over to C, so not much really to do for God Dog here. Kind of clearing things out. Maybe the objective left. here is just to do some economic damage. Maybe just um, practice your pre-aims a little bit. And overall, probably save this Vandal. Almost said AK. Wrong game. My fault. Ten seconds left. But, uh, yeah. So, it looks like he might wander into B here. And that's going to be the gun lost. So, I'm not sure what UNC's economy is looking like. But, hey, 4-7 so Last far for Utica. Again, um, an improvement from last time for sure. And if they can find this last round and make it 5-7, that's a very competitive game we have on our hands. And that is what you love to see. Okay, so it is still going to be the full buy. Um, Vandals and Phantoms coming out from both sides. Not sure what the alt situation is, but of course you want to pop it here if you do have it. Last round before the half. Okay, dog coming out. The Cypher, not the Cypher. Chamber not able to find the first pick. And yeah, UNC's kind of had enough of the funny business. They're just going to go straight for C. A lot of utility here, though, to repel them, and the rotations are quick. What a flick by God. Able to find three kills in quick succession. That's going to be the entire C site wiped out in an instant. Just Joy's in the 1v4. And that's kind of what I thought we would see more of going into this uh, second map. Just UNC kind of going for it and showing their aim and their... Um, kind of individual abilities. God, 4K on the round, single-handedly kind of taking over that round. Um, that's you. That's what you want from your Reina player, you know. Frag out and carry you to victory. So halftime on Haven. UNC up eight to four. It has been more competitive this time around compared to Bind. Maybe Utica just warming up on that first map, just trying to get. Um, into the flow of things. But yeah, we'll see. Like, If Utica is able to take this pistol round, um, things could get a lot more scary for UNC. So, as always, the pistol round, very pivotal, very important. Okay. Here we go. So we've got three in the window, two towards grass. Some shots ringing out from both sides but no kills yet as i say that that's actually three kills instantly for unc and it seems like as this pistol round had just started it was already over god on the flank not able to land the shots while joyce takes down god dog so the last two players here are kind of boxed into long and so unc should have quite an advantage One here just the fade left on low HP. HT 
taken down by God. Nice one tap from the sheriff there. Didn't really need it, but we love to see it. And yeah, I don't think that really closes the door completely on Utica's hopes and dreams, but I think the nail is kind of halfway into the coffin here with that pistol round loss. And yeah, you wonder if it's still going to be a save for Utica. I would probably imagine so. Um, but then you are just giving up double digits to UNC. And it's just going to be an all-out A commitment from Short. God already able to take down to the flash for the Sky is able to maybe flash a few. Um, God able to find a third. It's just two players here left. And, ooh, the classic right click is able to take down one, but cleaned up very quickly by the squad. 10 to 4. So three rounds needed for UNC to close out this series. The paparazzi is in full effect today at the UNC Gaming Arena studio. Okay, so this is the second timeout we've seen from Utica. Looks like they're going to talk things over. Um, timeout didn't do too much for them in the first game, but we did see them go for some pretty bold and interesting strategies following it. So I would love to see what they come up with um, after this timeout. See if they do anything wacky and weird. Um, it didn't really work out for them the first time around, but, you know, I respect them for it. So 30 seconds left on the timeout. Um, man, do you guys like this uh, this kind of sword skin? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it, but I would just like to say that the CSGO skins are a lot better. And if you disagree, um, you haven't played CSGO really. So that was toxic for no reason. But we are finally out of time out here. Let's see what Utica has got for us. What do they have in store? It looks like five towards C long. But they are not going to... Well, Ayane is able to find the pick. Yeah, so they're just going to accelerate things, go all out onto the C site, Cypher Cage, to help them kind of break past the initial choke point. And yeah, oh, the... Omen blind was extremely effective. I think it blinded pretty much everyone there. And Awesome King is able to find two to make this a manageable retake for UNC. Vermillion did get taken out in Garage, though. And Dan Guggly also loses his life. So it's just God in the 1v3. Takes down the Cypher camera, but they know his position. And looks like God's just going to give this one a go. See what they can find. But yeah, the Fade ability is going to reveal their position. Able to find that first kill, though. I don't know if they expect Cypher to be kind of sitting around the site here. And that Astro Well is just going to cap things off. Nice kill by Pablo. It's 5 to 10. So I said this earlier, but if you guys um, are kind of new to our community or uh, just don't really hang out in the UNC Discord that much, um, we have Valorant Weeklies every Sunday at 8 p.m. And um, if you're also cool, then you'll come to CSGO Weeklies uh, on Saturday at 9 p.m. I'm slowly losing my mind, uh, but it's okay. We are getting into the 16th round on Haven. And that's going to be... Oh, almost shot that out. But uh, nice off angle by, by Vermillion there. And no one really able to trade. Oh, that is a sketchy flash, but able to get it off. And oh my gosh, that's such a smart regression from Vermillion there. Joy's kind of just assuming that Vermillion had fallen off, taking a more passive approach. And these last two Utica players, the chamber's just going to get spammed through the box. And it's looking like it's going to be round number 11 
for UNC. The uh, smoke kind of fading before the UNC ran out of bullets on the spam. So two more rounds needed. Again, this is the first game of uh, the Varsity Premier season for NACE. So we're excited to see y'all tuning in. Um, do feel free to leave a follow. Um, you know, if you could spare the, the one click of your mouse. Okay, so heavy towards grass and mid this time around. And that's just going to prompt a timely rotation. It looks like Utica are on somewhat of a save. Um, we see the Stinger, the Classic. So it should be pretty trivial here for UNC, already being in a 5v3. But is God Dog going to check their corners? They kind of half check it. And it gets them killed, but it's okay. It's a 1v3 for HT. God's able to finish it off. It's 12 to 5 on the second map for UNC. And match point, match point for the series here. You'd like to see him close it out uh, in a clean fashion. 12 to 5. So it seems like out of that timeout, Utica kind of decided we're going to start taking things a bit quicker. We're going to go for um, fuller executes maybe off the bat. But it has been working out super well. God Dog, nice pick, able to teleport away. Meanwhile, God is also aggressive um, elsewhere on the map. So yeah, UNC have been quite aggressive here on the defense, and it's been working out in their favor. Omen able to teleport to safety as well. That's so brutal, HT. You're just trying to chase that kill, just trying to even things up, but it ends up going the other way. It's just Pablo in a 1v4. They're closing in on him from both sides. That's going to be the series, the match for UNC, 13 to five and 2-0 overall. So very clean, very nice victory. Good way to start off the season. And yeah, I mean, that was, that was pretty fast. 24 kills from God, only eight deaths. Um, I mean, that right there, that, that's what you love to see from Arena kind of bring the team on your back and powering them to victory. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that's going to be it for uh, UNC versus Utica. Um, again, you know, if you want to come to weeklies, Sunday at 8 p.m., all skill levels welcome. We're just there to have a good time um, and, and play some fun games. And, um, yeah, you should come out to weekly. So, uh, they'll be in the UNC Esports Discord, or uh, if you don't have a PC, you can always go to the Craig Gaming Arena. Um, I don't know if that's open on Sunday, actually. But, yeah, I don't think it is. But uh, Wednesday through Saturday, it is open. So if you want to come to CSGO Weeklies from the Gaming Arena, you can totally do that. That would be perfectly acceptable. Um. <coughs> So uh, we're, we're doing our best here. Um, as you could probably tell, the stream isn't quite over. We're, we're doing our best to get the, uh, the face cam working. That's what's kind of holding us up right now. Um, I believe it was paid for by a sub, so. So, hi, um, this is me. This is live from the gaming arena studio so um yeah i'm just very happy about the way unc performed today very excited to see the tar heels win um <laughs> yeah so <laughs> great way to start the season again 2-0 for unc um 1-0 on the season to start out varsity premiere you love to see it you love to see the people in chat um having a good time and watching along so Thanks, everybody, so much for tuning in tonight. We really appreciate it. Uh, we really appreciate you giving us your time on a Wednesday night, on a school day, on a school uh, midterm season, uh, whatever. Um, but that's going to be it for us. Again, uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, tune in next week, I guess.
Bye.